Well, hello viewers. Here's the uh, gun review for the Sig Sauer P220 carry model, uh, chambered in 45 ACP. Want to do a little bit of an unboxing for you, and then go into the details of the gun. I just did the uh, review on the Sig Sauer P220 full size, so I've got that as well to do a little bit of comparison with you. Uh, Mid 90s gun. This was a uh, this particular pistol uh, was uh, built in the mid to late 90s. Uh, it's a blue box Sig. <clears throat> this particular one is a two tone gun. And uh, what you get with it, you get the newer uh, Sig Arms manual. And the other one, uh, it would have come with a second magazine, which I do have. I just didn't put it in the box. Your your uh, gun lock, and then here's the pistol. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Put this box to the side. So real quickly, first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and safety check the pistol. Empty magazine, and as you can see, an empty chamber. Gun is safe. So. The P220 carry is a uh, 45 caliber uh, full size or what they consider to be a carry size uh, pistol. Now, I don't know about you, but I think the Germans have a bit of a have a bit of a different opinion on what uh, a carry size pistol would be. Um, for those of you, I've got the the uh, P220 full size with me, and we can compare them. <clears throat> maybe a half inch difference between the two that's the difference uh, is from the uh, is that little half inch on the muzzle um, both guns are the exact same height and nearly the same weight so uh, for those of you who are considering the carry uh, for size or weight differences know that there's not a big difference between the 220 and the 220 carry um, did a review about on this 220 earlier, and I want to show you some of the differences between them, between the or Gen 1, the original 220, and the newer model. So, first and foremost, give you a little bit of a view of the gun, and go over the gun with you a little bit. Um, 220 carry. This is a newer one. This is what they call a machine slide gun. As you can tell, um, the uh, top of the gun is uniform, and there is no breech block like on the... Um, stamp slide gun. Let's sort of see the difference there. This particular one it has uh, night sights from the factory. It has three dot night sights. So you can see right there. Try to get it up close for you. Uh, nice clean sights on this pistol. Uh, nice and bright. This particular pistol is equipped with uh, Hogue rubber grips. Um, the grips are very nice on this gun. One of the one of the real beauties of the P220 series of pistols is it has just a great uh, hand feel to it. Um, this particular 220 carry is also what they call the 220R rail. It has a it has an accessory rail here on the bottom that most 1913 accessories will will fit and look pretty good. Uh, some of the other updates this comes with a newer magazine. This is the eight round SIG magazine. The way you can tell is it has a plastic um, has a plastic uh, butt plate or floor plate on it. This is the other one. This is the original in my left hand here. This is uh, holds a, a total of seven rounds and the, um, the uh, newer version holds a total of eight. So it gives you that one extra round. Um, cool part about the uh, P220, great hand feel. Uh, about a uh, just shy of about a nine or ten pound uh, double action trigger pull. Very smooth, very predictable. And then of course once the uh, gun cycles, um, about a three to four pound, uh, very clean, crisp single action pull, and also a very nice uh, reset for the trigger, audible, and you can feel it. Uh, controls on the P220 are the same as the other one. You've got your magazine release, your slide stop and release, your decock lever, 
and your takedown lever. And again, I won't bore you with a uh, breakdown of this gun because it's uh, there's plenty of those out there on the web. Very nice looking pistol. Um, all of the same benefits as the uh, as the 220. Um, excellent build quality on these guns. Um, unbelievably reliable to shoot and extremely accurate. Um, I think you'll find that these are probably in the top tier of uh, just you know out of the box accuracy, reliability, and and function. Uh, disadvantages: size, weight, and magazine capacity. Again, um, it's a heavy pistol. I don't have a scale with me, but it you know it's a it's a very solid block of steel. Uh, the weight of this pistol is 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 high. Um, one of the big differences between these two guns is um, the original 220 here was uh, made completely in Germany. Uh, the newer 220, this particular gun, the slide and I believe the barrel are all made here in the United States. They were made in Exeter, New Hampshire. As you can see by the markings on the pistol, the frame is made in Germany on these guns. So the frame made in Germany, slide and everything was milled here in the United States. Um, great performing gun. Uh, you'll you'll find that uh, you'll find that the um, the milled guns, especially the earlier ones, there were still a lot very high uh, quality tolerances with these pistols. One of the things that's kind of neat about it, if you look at the slide profile on these, the slide profile is actually what the new 229 uh, pistol is. It's it's a it's a slab sided it's a slab sided um, slide. Um, so good for carry, uh, fits in your uh, fits in your holster nice, and it's got a great draw and uh, great trigger pull. So six hour P220 carry, chambered in 45 ACP. I did say one thing earlier about the P220s. Uh, uh, all modern day P220s are chambered in 45 ACP. Some of the early guns were chambered in nine millimeter. Um, so that is something to be aware of. You'll know it if you find it. Um, if you do find an early version, uh, six hour P220 chambered in nine millimeter, I highly recommend you buy it. They're they're uh, it's a it's a pretty rare gun, and um, and uh, it'll certainly hold its value over time. So, just wanted to give you a little bit of a comparison uh, between the two: six hour P220 full size, six hour P220 carry. Uh, if you have any questions or you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, just drop me a line on the uh, comment section. Thanks so much.